Hi, and welcome to Masters of the Delta Blues Guitar with Kevin Duggan. Hi, my name's Kevin Duggan. This is Masters of Delta Blues Guitar Lesson. You see, see right over. You see what you have done, yeah, you made me love you. Today I'm going to look at a song by Mississippi John Hurt, which is called C.C. Uh, Rider. It's his arrangement. It's, uh, he does a uh, phenomenal arrangement of the song. He does it in the key of A uh, with this, with his uh, left hand using this pinky to reach out. This is his A chord he's using. And he uses a regular D, and he uses a G. So those are, and a D minor, he uses a D minor. Um, those are your chords you're gonna be using. So the song is, has an alternating bass, like most of the songs. So it would sound like this. without any chords. So with the chords, it sound like this. pretty close to his way of playing it. So what he's doing is he starts off with uh, a, uh, an A fingered like this, which is using your pinky to come down here on the fifth fret of the E string, which is an A note. And if that's hard for you to do, just grab a capo, maybe pull it up to your fifth fret where all your, all your you know, frets come closer and the stretches aren't as much. But if you can do it up here in an open position, it's even better. So he starts off, you know, with the bass line. Pinch. Then to D, sliding in. Then he's catching. Back to the A, double. Now he goes to the G. to D. Here's where he throws in the D minor. Then I do that one more time. From the G to D. Keeping the, the, the alternating bass into the D minor to throw a little uh, decoration or whatever you want to call it into it. So, so far it would sound like this. the G. So the alternating bass there is important. And uh, the G. D. Always keeping that alternating bass going. Now here's, here's what he does in the D to, to the D minor, which sounds pretty good. Then lifts up for the last note. Back to the G. D. 
back to the A. So you have the G here, which we haven't really gotten into, and you're, you're doing your, your alternating bass. And then you're coming down to the A sharp, and you're doing. So one thing you can do with that D, if you really want to get G, if you really want to get fancy, is thumb, use your thumb for the top uh, uh, G note to to fret your and then. So. That's most of the song. It sounds great when he does it. <laughs> and uh, uh, his singing is just phenomenal, too. You can download the song on iTunes or on uh, Amazon and hear the, the full song. I don't know when he recorded it. A lot of his stuff he recorded before the Depression, uh, 1930 or 1929. So go through that one more time. We have the alternating bass the A it starts off on pinch so what you're doing there is you're you know you're using your D chord sliding on and John Hurt a lot of times he'd slide up here for his D so if you really want to you know throw variations or uh, improvise I guess you could do that so back to the D, back to the A, not to the G, to the D, A, D, thing I left out now was a D minor, which is this, this part he throws in, which is kind of nice. I'm just going to do the D to the D minor. So that's it. And again, you're using the chords, an A chord like that, fingered like that, and a D, standard D, slide up, using the D minor, and you're using the G, you know, almost a standard G chord, but what you're really doing is, uh, you're not even really, you could use that, those bottom notes if you wanted to, but the important note here is, D note in the A sharp note in the uh, in the G while well, you have the G fingered. So that's most of the song, and it's a uh, you know it's a typical blues progression, and it's a great song.